The Pagani Zonda F Club Sport could have come straight from the Le Mans track 24-hour race with its Group C racer layout. Built by the Argentinian in the neighborhood of the established Italian supercar manufacturers, the Zonda has a German V12 heart by Mercedes-AMG. Uh, what I like on the Pagani is that the car is a really good car instead of suspension to the engine, gearbox, the brakes are really good, the ABS system is really good working. What I not like are uh, the pedals and the foot room it's a little bit difficult to use it they are looking beautiful but they are not so good for a quick lap and that's the only thing what is not so good on the car for the rest it's a really good race car the pagani zonda f club sport enters the stage it's time to see whether those le mans prototype looks are justified or not
negative g-forces under braking of 1.13 g mark the best during the test, proof of the efficiency of the carbon ceramic Brembo brakes and a perfectly applied ABS. The 7.3-litre AMG engine offers power and torque at any speed, and the factory Pirelli P0 tyres are glued to the track. But not all goes well. Towards the end of the lap, misfires become apparent. After the test, the Black Falcon team discovers residues in the fuel system of the car, tapping the fuel lines. Despite the issue, the final time for the Zonda F is an astonishing 7 minutes 24.44 seconds, only 0.15 seconds off the Maserati's time. Well, the lap was really good. Uh, I feel really confident to the car because the shocks are really good set up for the notch life. Uh, we can hold up the throttle a long time, especially in direction of Schweden coils. You have no problem, you can go full in direction Tiergarten. The brakes are incredibly good, there's no fading, nothing. And the only thing is the steering is a little bit indirect, so you have to turn the steering wheel a lot to get into the corner. But I think the rest of the car shows us a great performance and that was the result in the lap time.